Viking Motorsports team has been a part of Portland State University since 2001. They design, build, and race Formula race cars. As a student group, they offer any student the opportunity to be part of the team. For the last five years, they have competed in the Formula SAE competition. This year, they take on new challenges. My experience with Viking Motorsports has been quite invigorating to be honest with you. It's taught me a lot. I can't believe how much I've learned in such a short amount of time. You know, you get to actually kind of apply the concepts that you're learning in the classroom and actually see the results of those. You, see, no, you don't just design them, but you actually design them. You get to take them to the production stage. And then after that, you actually get to do some validation with that and see the end result. Um, and it's exciting, it really is. You get to actually see the entire process all the way through, which is something that you don't usually get with just the, just the classroom studies that you do. One of the biggest benefits is that you're getting this experience, and it's almost as if you're getting internships somewhere. I mean, the experience that you gain from this is huge. It's huge on your resume, and it can benefit anyone, any major. It really doesn't matter who you are. The idea of the competition is that we are trying to design a weekend racer. That's our target market, is we want to design a vehicle that's cost effective, that any person that has an ambition for racing could purchase and could go out and race on the weekends and enjoy it and have a great time and it would perform reliably and to the, to the expectations that they have. Um, and that's kind of the idea of what we do. Safety honestly is our number one and most important thing out here. One of the biggest things in competition is going to be the dynamic events where we get to actually test the vehicle itself. We get to go through um, an autocross style race is, is primarily what we design the vehicles for and set them up for. Um, and that's very tight radius type racing where it's not real high speed. Our average speed seen on the track is around 55 miles an hour. Um, but we can pull up to one and a half G's in the, uh, in, in the corners. Um, then they also test the acceleration, which is going to be just kind of your, you know, like a drag race essentially, where we can really see how much um, power that is being put to the ground. There's also the static events, which is where we go through and they kind of validate our decisions that we made with actually designing the vehicles and going through as well as. Um, around the vehicle. It's not just about the design of the vehicle. It's not just about the performance of the vehicle. It encompasses all of that. You know, it, it's, it's really a company we're designing. They need to follow for the cars and the vehicles to make sure that they are safe to run on their track. Feel it kind of move back and forth. Uh, and those are, again, within spec and they're essentially tight enough. So for some, like, you know, if the car caught fire or anything like that, we can kill it here and kill all power to, to the vehicle. And then this here is the lap, um, these are the lap belts here. And then this is gonna be your, um, basically the submarine belt. Those people who are interested and show some interest to where they come in and they, you know, they seek us out by any means, um, or they just stop by because they're interested and they see a racing team. Um, we just ask them, you know, what is it that brought them to us? You know, what is it that interested them to come to a meeting or to come into our lab to see what's going on? You know, there's always an interest there. And that's really what we try to do is and then we'll sit down with them and, um, you know, one of the things I do is I try to, to figure out what their skills are. You know, what, what is it that they're learning, they're wanting to learn to do? What is it that they, what strengths is it that they have? You know, what is their goal in life? You know, if they are, depending on whatever major it is that they have, I want to benefit that student. That's my goal is to play their roles on the team to benefit them the most so that way they have success in life. We were designated as a department sponsored group for various reasons such as uh, the, the knowledge it requires to oversee a group such as ours surpasses that that is available with the uh, self administrators um, as well as um, it seemed as if this organization is targeting more directly towards the engineering majors. 
we had actually gone through an appeal process with that decision. They've actually had tabled the appeal and it has not gone through yet. We have heard various things um, about that designation. Um, the, the future really is still up in the air at this point though. Um, the, the real issue that that presents us is that we will lose $30,000 worth of funding each year. Um, you know, 10,000 of that alone is spent just on getting us to and from competition. Um, so it can really, really be detrimental to this team. Each year brings the team many challenges and hurdles, and not all of them are administrative. This year is a very challenging year in that we're all pretty new to Viking Motorsports. Um, the most senior members have been there just a, a little over a year, and we're also taking on a second car. Uh, there's only a handful of universities that do two race cars, and it's, it's a very ambitious task. I like that it's a good mix of engineering and fun. I have a great respect for science and engineering as well. The fact that we're dealing with a, a relatively new technology in an electric vehicle, seeing how far we can take that is rewarding. We're creating something that can be passed on to next year or five years down the road that they will have the chance to do engineering and create two cars, a combustion car and an electric car. One of the most thrilling experiences you'll ever have in your life. You stomp down on the pedal and you go faster than you ever have in your life. Uh, it's, it's a lot of fun. So ends another productive day at Viking Motorsports. They are one day closer to what may be their final competition.